many emotions surface, surface when you take the role of caregiving. Some of these feelings happen right away. Some don't surface until much later. In today's Kupuna caregiver, Jill Kuramoto, looks into how these emotions are valid. They're very important to understand. Whether you become a caregiver gradually or all of a sudden due to a crisis, there are three emotions that commonly arise. Resentment, anger, and guilt. And resentment comes because when you start caregiving, you're giving up your life. More and more of it as the caregiving needs increase. Gary Powell is the executive director of the nonprofit organization, the Caregiver Foundation, that works to support caregivers and individuals needing care. He says as the caregiving needs increase, it can mean a financial sacrifice or just a sacrifice of your time. And that resentment often leads to anger. Anger at the situation, anger at losing your friends, anger at your family for not understanding, anger at your siblings for not doing more to help, anger at yourself for not accepting their help when they offer it, you know, all of these things. And angry at the person that you're providing care to. Following anger is the guilt for feeling angry and resentful. Guilt is the third emotion and it's the hardest. Guilt is the emotion that pulls us down and makes caregiving a huge burden. You recognize what guilt should be and what emotions you can replace guilt with because guilt is supposed to drive you to change something. Powell says all these emotions are common and completely normal. And while recognizing this won't make the caregiving work any easier, it can lighten the emotional load. And when we really look at it, that's where caregiver stress comes in, mostly out of our minds. Powell recommends asking for help and asked for it in specific detail. Also accept help when it's offered. We have a link to the Caregiver Foundation on our website, khon2.com. Jill Kuramoto, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.